Hey y'all, Weston with South Central Pursuit. Thanks for joining us today. We're gonna do a little review of a Cruiser XC saddle and the Tethered Phantom. Before we get too far into this, I'm gonna give y'all a little background about myself. I'll make it short and sweet because I know y'all are here for the saddle comparison. I was born and raised here in Southern Oklahoma and I've been hunting for over 15 years. It's played a really important role in my life and I've loved every minute of it. Any way that I can better myself as a hunter, I'm all over it and mobile hunting has been the ticket for me. Started off with a trophy line saddle and nothing against them, but it just wasn't for me. It wasn't very comfortable. I had a lot of hip pinch. So uh, quickly I jumped on the bandwagon with Tethered and I ordered me a Phantom and used it all last season and I absolutely love that saddle. This new brand of saddle that I've been seeing on some groups on Facebook and it's the Cruiser. So I decided to order one and uh, it came in the other day and I absolutely love it as well. So we're gonna go over the two today. We're gonna compare size, adjustability, and fitting. And again, I appreciate y'all coming to the channel. I'll see you outside. What's up guys? We're gonna start off with doing a little comparison just side by side. If you'll notice right off the bat here that the Cruiser is actually a lot bigger saddle and uh, with that bigger size comes a little more comfort. Um, it also has a mesh channel, as you can see right here, advertised on their website. And it is awesome. Let me tell you guys, this thing is super comfortable, a lot of support all the way around. It's just a really, really nice saddle and I really, really enjoy it. Now the Phantom, on the other hand, it still holds its own. It's a really, really nice saddle. I hunted out of it all last year but uh, we're sort of the hype surrounding the Cruiser XC just really made me want to try it, and I'm glad I did. Now we're going to go into a little more specific on the Cruiser XC. This is a size 2. Um, first things first is we're going to look at these buckles here. The Phantom actually has hooks instead of buckles, and I'm not a fan of it, but these buckles here are awesome. As well as the buckle in the front here. It is super smooth and super easy to take apart. The Tether Phantom buckle is not quite as easy, but it's still a really nice buckle. So another thing that we're gonna go over here on the Cruiser is the adjustment system, where you can put a little more pressure under your butt or you can put it up on your lower back. I'm not as big of a fan of this as I am Tether's design, but it does work. Okay, obviously both of them have the lineman's belt hook and an am steel bridge, which is awesome if you don't have one. It slides super easy through the carabiner to get around the tree and get those hard shots. Now we're gonna look at the tethered phantom. There's a few differences, but for the most part, it's a lot the same. Um, we're gonna start off here with the buckles, which I'm not as big of a fan of those, but they do work. It's not really that big of an issue. The XC has buckles instead of these hooks. The way that the phantom adjusts is actually pretty cool. If you look close here, it has comfort channels and you can adjust your bridge up or down to put pressure in different areas, which is really nice and it's easy to do on the fly. With the Cruiser, it's a little bit different. You have to take pressure off of that knot to actually adjust it, which both of them lock in really nice whenever you do have pressure. As you can on. see now that I have it on, the buckle system is pretty nice around the legs here and the buckle that goes around your waist is also really nice. You can also see the size comparison compared to the tethered. And uh, now we're gonna get in a tree and we're gonna check it out. All right guys, now that we're up in the tree, I can go ahead and tell you this is a super comfortable saddle. As you can tell from the size on the back, it has a lot of support down on the legs and up on the back. And it's super easy to move around, obviously just like many saddles. You can shoot pretty much 360 around the tree. And uh, now we'll get in the tethered phantom and we'll uh, do a little comparison there. All right guys, now I've got the tethered phantom on. We're gonna go over it a little bit, show you some size difference and stuff. I'm gonna show you the back of it here. You can see it's a little smaller profile, so it's not gonna have quite as much support under your butt and on your lower back. But don't get me wrong, it's super comfortable if you have it set up correctly. So now we're gonna climb up in the tree and I'm gonna show you how we run it. So now we're in the tree, you can do, you can see a little bit of size difference and the support difference, but it's all the same ordeal here. You can shoot pretty much 360 around the tree, however you need to. But the kicker for me is the comfort channels that Tethered has on their saddles. 
And these things are awesome. You can just take a little pressure off, move it down wherever you would like, and it puts pressure on different areas. And uh, let me tell you, it's super customizable to each person. And uh, I really like that. So in closing, I'm gonna do some final thoughts here. So you can't really go wrong with either one of these saddles. They're both comfortable and they both have their perks. Um, the Phantom is a little smaller in size. It doesn't have quite as much support but the adjustability is awesome on it. The Cruiser is a quite a bit bigger saddle, so it is a little bit more comfortable. I do enjoy the buckle system, but the adjustment is not quite the same as it is with the Tether Phantom. But for the price point, you can't really go wrong with either one of them. They're both great saddles and uh, they will get the job done. So uh, I appreciate y'all coming today. I will see y'all on the next one.